in the microscope. And this is how it goes. It says, here too are dreaming landscapes, lunar derelict. Here too are the masses, tillers of the soil, and cells, fighters who lay down their lives for a song. Here too are cemeteries, fame and snow. And I hear the murmuring, the revolt of immense estates. And this beautiful poem captures, you know, first of all, what it really has at its core is a sense of compassion for the common person, but it also has this enormous sense of grandeur. And also what it captures is something that we see over and over again in Holub's work, which is a lack of sentimentality. Mm. It's just, and, and, and in that interview with Tom Paulin, one of the things that struck me, because Tom Paulin, who is a very lovely man, was, uh, and very full of sympathy, was trying to sort of ask him to speak in a more emotive way about his experiences. And he just said, well, you know, when that era of censorship ended, it was like taking off a pair of tight shoes. He was so unsentimental and yet so compassionate. It was a great lesson in life. We look back always to a writing that transcends its particular moment. And I think there are lessons, because Holub looked for universal characteristics within science that spoke I mean, within scientific observations. He utilized scientific observations to produce these universal insights into the condition, the human condition. He used them as metaphors for the human condition. And those are universal and they're timeless. And I would strongly encourage people to go back to his poetry because they really contain some of the answers to how we should live now.